Thank you, Kim. It's, it's good to be here, and I appreciate all the effort that has gone into making this conference possible. Uh, and I'm glad that we're doing a live feed on this, and, and it, the videos will also be available on the Kidney Cancer Association's website and probably on the UNCA websites uh, in, in, in future, as well as just the regular UNC website. Uh, we've got some people uh, that's, that's watching this live in Asheville, North Carolina, so uh, I want to welcome those people uh, that, that got up early and got out in those mountains and, and ventured forth to come and see this. I'm an 18-year survivor of kidney cancer, and I won't go into much of my story, but 18 years ago there wasn't a lot of information out there that I could access, and I am so glad that... Uh, that we have a lot of information out there now. And it's an honor to represent and, and tell you about the Kidney Cancer Association. Uh, basically, the Kidney Cancer Association is comprised of everybody. And, and you know, it's, a, it's an international organization, but if you look at that slide, you want to make sure you don't call it an infernal nonprofit organization because uh, there's some really good people that's involved in the Kidney Cancer Association. Uh, and it's just like the faculty here that's doing this presentation. They have all given so much of their time, their effort uh, to bring about all kinds of knowledge and information on kidney cancer, and we appreciate that. The Kidney Cancer Association was started in 1990 by Dr. Eugene Schoenfeld. Now, he was diagnosed in 1989 sat in his doctor's office. The doctor told him he had kidney cancer, and he says, what can we do about it? And the doctor told him, Gene, there's nothing out there. And he says, well, why not? He says, look, if you're going to give me a hard time about this, you, you're a professor in journalism and everything, why don't you do something about it? If you're, if you're so concerned about this, do something about it. So Gene did just that. Uh, it wasn't long before he... And that doctor and about three or four patients sat down at uh, Gene's home around the kitchen table, and they organized what is now the Kidney Cancer Association. Gene's words initially in 1990 was, was telling people, hey, it's, it's like the doctor opens his medicine bag only to find there's nothing there. That's what a kidney cancer patient is going through. Well, today there's still some items in the doctor's bag that's missing and we appreciate all the research that's going on we appreciate all the clinical trials that's being conducted uh, to find answers for the problems of kidney cancer and and gene encourages each one of us today even though he passed away in 1997 he encourages each one of us today that you should understand you can do something about this you know, it, it takes a lot of will and a lot of action. And your actions in being here this morning demonstrates that you're not only concerned about your family, your friends, and people that have kidney cancer, you're wanting to find answers and be able to share that with other people. And I thank you for networking with other people uh, today as you, as you talk. And the mission of the Kidney Cancer Association is basically to reduce and eliminate as much suffering from kidney cancer as we possibly can. And we appreciate the fact that there's a lot of great strides that have come forth in the last seven or eight years in, in some of the targeted therapies and so much promise in the future. The Kidney Cancer Association operates in, in three primary areas in education, research, and advocacy. Uh, we're involved even at, uh, at a local level in North and South Carolina uh, through the North Carolina Comprehensive Cancer Program and the South Carolina Cancer Alliance to, to bring about some changes that can be helpful. Uh, one of the things that we're working on this year uh, with, with the North Carolina Comprehensive Cancer Program is, is to reduce the disparities on insurance coverage of oral medications versus uh, the IV medications. Uh, hopefully we'll have some legislation passed. Uh, that's been brought up by a lot of agencies and we're glad to be a part of that. Hopefully we can bring about uh, some equality on, on the coverage of that. 
On the education component, you know, there's, there's a lot of doctors that see kidney cancer patients very rarely. And one of the things that we do is we try to bring about education to the doctors. There's about uh, 100 support group meetings that are held every year in the United States. And like Kim said, there's about four regional conferences and we're, we're gradually building that number. And all of these uh, are available on the Kidney Cancer Association website. If, if you go there, you'll get some good coverage. Uh, this year, uh, in, in we had a uh, symposium in Chicago and a symposium in Dublin, Ireland. And those doctors uh, that participated in those symposiums uh, learned a lot on the latest uh, processes of treating and research on kidney cancer. Uh, next year, uh, we'll have a symposium in Miami, Florida. Hopefully, we'll have a lot more his Hispanic uh, participation in the, uh, in the symposium that's going to be in Miami. And we'll also be in France uh, for the European Symposium. There's, there's a lot of research going on in Europe, and we want to capitalize on that uh, as much as possible. And we help to educate oncologists during these uh, symposia. The number one resource that uh, you can access about the Kidney Cancer Association is a website, www.kidneycancer.org. And it's being revised right now. It's got a completely different look to that uh, screenshot that you have now. But uh, feel free to access that. We've also got uh, extensive coverage on social media. I think, uh, I think our Facebook page, we've, we've got somewhere over 95,000 members right now. And uh, we've got a good following on the Twitter feed. And a lot of our videos are available on the YouTube channel. And our latest uh, endeavor to provide information is on Inspire.com. We've got a uh, Kidney Cancer Association community support page. And this is actually a page that people can uh, enroll in and, and ask questions and provide comments and uh, link to resources that's there. And so we invite all of you to participate in that. We're very uh, proactive about clinical trials. Uh, we try to work with pharmaceutical companies and, and, and the research in facilities and other organizations uh, to promote the latest in clinical trials. And you know, the sad part is that only about 5% of the people participate in clinical trials. And there are a lot of physicians that never mention the fact that there's clinical trials available. So we're working hard to alleviate that situation because we think that every kidney cancer patient, as well as other cancer patients, deserves at least the opportunity to know about clinical trials, and it's their choice whether they want to participate in one or not. Uh, we've got some publications uh, that you can link to. If you sign up on the Kidney Cancer Association website, you can download uh, We Have Kidney Cancer, we have kidney cancer survivor stories, uh, something on Wilms tumor, and uh, we appreciate uh, one of our organizations. Uh, we've got an oncology navigators uh, uh, group that helps to keep the We Have Kidney Cancer book updated. And uh, this nurse advisory board uh, really puts forth a lot of effort to keep that updated for us. And, so it's constantly being revised, and we invite you to take a look at that. You can also purchase it, but uh, uh, the availability of accessing it online is really incredible. I want to thank you for allowing me to be here. That's my email address. If, if I can be of service to you, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, talk to me. Uh, look forward to chatting with many of you. And remember that website www.kidneycancer.org. Thank you for being here this morning.